here's a creature known as the seahorse. Seahorses have a head that looks like a horse's, skin that reminds you of crustaceans, and a tail that's similar to those of monkeys and reptiles. Because they look so unusual, people used to think seahorses were mythical beings, like a dragon's child or a horse ridden by Poseidon. Sometimes, they were even mistakenly called a type of shrimp, but actually, seahorses are fish. Today, I'll show you evidence that seahorses really are fish. I recently visited Phu Quoc, an island in Vietnam, and found something really interesting at a supermarket. It was a dried seahorse. The seahorses were kept just like how they were when they were alive. But I was surprised at how expensive they were. I wasn't sure if I should buy them, but I decided to get just four seahorses from the shopkeeper. And here they are. When I took them out, this is a seahorse. It looks weird, right? Maybe it's because they look so unique that people have used seahorses as medicine for a long time in many places around the world. In Phu Quoc, where I went, people think of seahorses as a kind of health booster. Fishermen who work all night sometimes drink alcohol with seahorses in it. In China, where a lot of seahorses are bought and sold, they're really expensive. Because people believe they give you more energy and can help with breathing problems. Because of this, about 20 million seahorses are caught and sold every year putting them at risk of disappearing forever. It's kind of sad, isn't it? The seahorse is a really special kind of animal that lives under the sea. Imagine it swimming upright, straight up and down like a horse, with its tail curled around seaweed to stay in place. It might look like something from a fairy tale, but this creature is actually a fish, part of the group known as bony fishes. To see how it's really a fish, you might need to imagine turning the seahorse on its side. Even though its body shape is pretty unique to let it swim straight up, if you look at it sideways, it looks a lot like other fish. Seahorses have their fins in interesting places. They have fins on the sides of their head that look a bit like ears, a fin on their back that moves a lot when they swim, and a small fin under their belly but they don't have the usual fins on their belly or the typical tail fin at the end. Instead of moving through the water with a tail fin like most fish, seahorses use the small fin on their back to swim. But since this back fin is really tiny, seahorses swim very slowly and have to work hard to move around. Since seahorses aren't the best swimmers, they've come up with a different way to survive in the sea. They use their long tails to grab onto seaweed and hang on tight. This way, they don't have to worry too much about swimming. The seahorse's tail is made up of square rings that make it really good at grabbing and wrapping around things securely. Seahorses are covered in ring-shaped, bony plates all over their bodies, not just their tails. This makes some people think they have an outer shell like crabs or lobsters and might even mistake them for some kind of shrimp. But actually, these bony plates are under a thin layer of skin. So, like other fish, seahorses have their skeletons on the inside, not the outside. They also breathe through gills located near their heads, and they have a swim bladder inside that helps them float, just like other fish do. So, in many ways, seahorses are pretty similar to other fish. But seahorses are also really unique. For example, they have a part of their body that works like a throat, which is flexible and can bend. This is something you won't find in other fish. Seahorses have a very special way of eating. They use their mouth like a straw to suck up tiny sea creatures like plankton and small fish. This mouth is unlike any other fishes, really setting them apart. Seahorses are part of a family of fish known as Seahorsidae. When you look at other fish in this family, you'll notice they share some traits with seahorses, like having a similar mouth shape, not being great at swimming, and having a small or underdeveloped tail fin. It seems like seahorses evolved from an ancestor that looked a lot like them, 
They adapted to survive by swimming upright and using their tails to cling to seaweed. One of the coolest things about seahorses is why they're sometimes called the chameleons of the sea. First off, they can move their eyes in different directions, at the same time, just like a chameleon. And just like chameleons, seahorses can change their color to blend in with their surroundings. This helps them look like a part of the seaweed and stay hidden from predators. This amazing ability to camouflage is probably how seahorses manage to survive in the ocean, even though they're not strong swimmers. Seahorses really are full of mysteries, aren't they? But actually, we haven't talked about the most fascinating thing about seahorses. When it comes to having babies, seahorses have a very special way of doing things. The male gets pregnant. To get a closer look at how seahorses mate, all we need to do is put this dried seahorse back in the water. I've also made another video to give you a bit more insight into this unique process. If you're curious to learn how seahorses reproduce, be sure to check out our next video too. That wraps up this video. If you liked what you saw, please hit the subscribe button on our channel. This has been Fishy Science, uncovering the mysteries of the deep.